video of, I believe it's called Minuteman Park or Minute Maid Park, mm -hmm. where the Astros play. During their game last night, you know, it's enclosed by glass. The windows in the ballpark were shattering and water was coming through the wow. glass into the huh. field. And that's in that same area, obviously. Uh, Thankfully, much calmer around here. Yeah, no severe storms like that near our area. We did have some flooding yesterday that was from sure the heavy did. rainfall that we did, so you know, that was impacting some people locally. But much quieter today, looking at blue sky sunshine. These are fair weather clouds out there, so we're not expecting any rain for the rest of today. Now, rivers, by the way, uh, they are, uh, you know, dropping their water levels, so that's good news. Windy out here in Newport, blue sky sunshine here. Again, things looking just fine. Uh, live radar, again, looking quiet. We'll be staying dry for the rest of your Friday. Outdoor plans look just fine. Uh, the river update, these are river flood warnings that are still in effect for the Patuxet as well as the Pawcatuck and Wood Rivers down there in South County. Again, a lot of the heaviest rainfall that we saw yesterday and, and Wednesday night uh, was actually across South County. So that's where we're seeing most of the issues in terms of the flooding. But temperatures right now on the warm side, upper 60s to near 70, where the sun is shining across places like Westerly, up towards Providence. A little bit cooler though out towards the Cape and Islands, but still overall pretty good for the rest of our afternoon. Three key things, again, drier, warmer today, and mainly a dry weekend. Again, graduations happening a lot this weekend. Most of the weekend looks dry. May see a couple showers on Saturday, but not a washout. Wouldn't cancel any plans or anything that's outside. Ball games look fine as well. And then we're looking at some warmer temperatures in that seven day forecast for next week as well. So satellite radar, you can see we're kind of in between a couple systems. Here's our exiting low that brought us all that heavy rain Wednesday night into Thursday. That's now well offshore. Another storm system off to the west isn't going to be bothering us too much over the next few days. So as we time things out here, things looking OK for this afternoon. Temperatures once again topping out near 70 for the afternoon. Clouds try to build in later on in the day and especially into tonight. We'll be seeing increasing clouds. Areas of patchy fog are also possible late tonight into early tomorrow. A few scattered showers also possible overnight and then again on Saturday. But this is not a big deal. Not expecting you know a rainy day. It'll be a cloudy day, but it's not going to be a rainy day with temperatures a much cooler. We'll be in about 60 degrees for high temperatures Saturday afternoon. But notice all the gray and the white on the screen. This is all the cloud cover. So again, not looking at much way of sunshine for our first half of the weekend, but overall not a bad day, all things considered. At least we can get those graduations in for your day on Saturday. Recapping things this afternoon, temperatures upper 60s to near 70, especially further away from the coastline, staying dry right through this evening. Uh, looking good for bonfires tonight. Anything outdoors, dinner plans looking fine near 50 tonight. But again, increasing clouds, and areas of patchy fog as we go into early tomorrow morning. Saturday, overall, not a bad day. It'll be much cooler compared to today, near 60, looking at lots of clouds in place. And again, a couple showers are possible. Overall, not a bad day. Looking at our pollen forecast, though, this is what's been really causing a lot of issues for people the last several weeks, really. High count for today as we go through the weekend into next week, staying in the medium to high category and really no rainfall or heavy rainfall, not until the middle of next week. So as you look at the seven day forecast for you can see what I'm talking about. We have a nice dry warm stretch coming our way basically Sunday through Wednesday of next week. Temperatures back into the 70s, especially further inland. There's a chance that we could see even warmer temperatures than that as we go into that Monday through Wednesday time frame. Uh, next chance of any substantial shower th uh, threat won't be until Thursday of next week. I mean, it's not horrible this weekend, but if we can only shift Monday and Tuesday of next week and slide it I wish we could get the trend, yeah, get on the weekends. Saturday and Sunday. All right, thanks, Stephen. And stories working on new